everyone! Welcome to another video from Cheshire Roots Libraries. My name is Kath and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these spinning figures. You'll need a AA battery, some copper wire, some scissors and three or four magnets. And these are what are known as permanent or neodymium magnets. You'll also need some things to decorate your spinning figure. So I used paper, felt tip pens and sticky tape. What we're going to create here is something called a homopolar motor. A homopolar motor is a type of direct current electric motor that has two magnetic poles. The copper wire acts as the conductor, whilst the magnet creates a static magnetic field. The copper wire closes the electric circuit by being in touch with both the top of the battery and the magnet which is attached to the bottom of the battery. Electrical current flows from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative and into the magnet. This current then flows from the centre of the magnet to the edge where the wire connects, up the wire back to the positive terminal of the battery and then the circuit is complete. Because the wire is perpendicular to both the current direction and the magnetic field, a force known as the Lorentz force generates a spinning motion. The easiest shape to start out with is a rectangle. So first we're going to make the sort of ridge of wire that sits on top of the battery. Take your wire and fold it in half. Open out the two pieces of wire and make right angles at around half a centimetre to a centimetre away from the middle bend we just made. Then make another right angle bend around a couple of centimetres out on both sides. Now we're going to use the battery to measure how long we need this rectangle of wire to be. So take your battery, take your neodymium magnets, stick the magnets to the negative or flat end of the battery. Take the wire and roughly line up the top ridge with the positive terminal on the battery and make a right angle bend in the wire so that it comes level with the magnets at the bottom. So now that you can see a rectangle shape, we're just going to take the very last two ends of the wire and fold them back on themselves. So this is the very bottom of your rectangle. Just fold the two loose ends back onto each other. So we'll try and balance the square of wire now onto the battery and the magnets. So you've got the magnets attached to the bottom of the battery there and just try to line up that ridge or bend in the middle that we made with the positive terminal of the battery. It can be a bit of a balancing act and you might need to adjust the wires a little bit at the bottom. We want those wires to touch the magnets. Don't worry if it flies off. Um, the little bit of extra weight from your decorations will, will help to sort of study that later on. So just make sure it's rotating a little bit to start with. Once you've got a shape that you're happy with and it rotates on your battery, it's time to decorate. So on to decorating, I have um, just made a little robot head and some arms out of paper. And I'm just attaching the robot head there with sellotape to the top of my rectangle, so the part that balances on the top of the battery. I'm 
and the arms. I'm going to attach one on either side again with sellotape. Once you've made your decorations, it's time to try out on the battery. So again, one end of the wire touching the top terminal there. Be careful if you leave your figure spinning for too long, the top of the battery can get a little bit warm. Have fun with different shapes and styles. You can make a heart shape out of wire, a diamond, a circle. It doesn't have to be a rectangle as long as what you're making is symmetrical or as symmetrical as possible. So there we go, a spinning figure from a Homer Polar Motor. Thanks for watching. Thank you.